Hey everybody, we have Guitar Crate January 2022. It's hard to believe that we are into the 2022nd year. I remember being an 80s kid and a 90s kid, but here we are, we're in 2022, and this is the January Guitar Crate. For those of you familiar with this channel, please skip ahead maybe about 30 seconds or so. I've gotten a lot better at this intro. For those of you new to this, what we do is we open the Guitar Crate contents. We dump them out here on my desk. I throw the box like a lunatic and we discuss the contents of them. Guitar Crate is a subscription service. You choose your level of involvement. You can get involved with a $20 a month guitar pack or a $40 a month guitar pack. I do not know what the bass pack cost. I should know because uh, up here, got a couple sets of bass strings, so I, I should know that. However, with that said, uh, there's also a Pedal of the Month Club, acoustic, seven, and I believe eight string options. So without further ado, let's cut this box open and see what we can do here. And we'll see if I can uh, not cut myself with this little knife this time, like I did last time. So we're through the box. Oh my gosh, we're through the box. Okay, well, we're through part of the box. I didn't get through the tape. And I almost slipped my throat there. <laughs> that would have been pretty horrible. So we got two packs of strings. We'll get them out here. You know what? We'll just take everything out real nice. This month we're gonna be a little bit different than usual. And instead of uh, dumping everything out and then throwing this, we'll uh, dump everything out and then we'll send that sailing. Okay, so, uh, but true to form here, let's get to the review. So, um, there was a viewer that had commented on my pronunciation of the company. I read it as Diadario, and uh, we've had some back and forth, and I haven't got a chance to watch the video where he indicated that someone actually from the company pronounces it Diadario. I believe I have his pronunciation correct. Um, but let's just say that I feel that these are the best strings for the money that you can buy on the market. There are certainly better strings. For example, the same company makes a product called an NYXL, which is a better string than this, but I change my strings so frequently that it is not good enough to use those versus these for me. Okay, so we have our two sets of strings. We have an on stage, and I know I'm pronouncing that correctly, GTA 4500 rechargeable clip-on tuner recharge your tuning. And you know what, let's take a look at that here. I want to see what they mean by recharge. See if it's something like a USB, something on, oh, okay. There you go. It's a micro USB connector here. And it has a nice clip. Um, does it come charged? Let's see here, we'll turn it on. No, we, oh, oh, we will turn it on. We will turn this on and we will find out in real time if this tuner they've provided, hold on here, turned off, I think. Might be dead. Okay, so it arrives dead, but I'll tell you what we'll do here just for the video. I think I have, no, I don't have one plugged in already. Okay, so here's what I wanna do. I want to talk about the other contents and I want to quickly charge this with my computer and I want to see uh, how accurate this is because I know what tuning this guitar is in. So we will plug in this tuner here and uh, it says it's charging. Okay, throw that on my tower here. We'll throw this guitar right here. Okay, so um, so far we have two sets of strings. We have the knife I did not cut myself with. This did not come with Guitar Crate. And we have the tuner. Um, it looks like this came apart in shipping. I'm actually very well familiar with this. This is, um, depending on who you speak to, Diadario or Dario uh, XLR8 cleaner. So it comes in a tin like this. And pop the lid off, pop this down, and you get a little little pad here and we'll take the same guitar that I was going to use as my victim. And you can take this pad, so you can see it's brand new, clean. And you go. And then you'll get some Gung Fungaroo on there. Okay, and we have a little bit more. And 
if I recall the directions on this product correctly, it was to wipe up and down. You can wipe off the excess and it'll help uh, clean and lengthen the life of your string. Let's see if we got this here. Remove cap and rub applicator along the full length of the strings used before and after playing. Replace cap and store and tin when not in use. Reduces finger noise, easy to use applicator, reduces friction, enhances string life and tone. So there you go, that's, that's pretty close to it. And um, I actually don't hate the product. I've used it before and it's a little less greasy than um, fast fret. Fast fret is something that everybody's familiar with and uh, it's kind of been an industry standard for Oh my gosh, I don't even know how many years. But the, uh, the however you pronounce it, XLR8 is a product that is less greasy. I don't know if it lasts longer. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. So, okay, two sets of strings, tuner that we're currently charging, the cleaner, and we got a string height gauge. And I've gotten these before um, I've been a subscriber for over a year. This one's different. Okay, what do we got here? We have a flathead Phillips attachment. We, I'm sorry, a flathead attachment, not flathead Phillips. Wow. We have a flathead attachment, a point, and then we have a couple wrench spots here. I would not recommend doing any heavy duty turning but for minor stuff this might work uh 10 millimeter half inch and then 0.4375 inch and then we have a depth gauge okay let's grab this guitar that we've been abusing and we can take depth gauge measurements here uh maybe it's kind of hard there we go if we move the strings um pretty cool product here Let's see, could it use as a spanner wrench? No, none of these are big enough to go on that. Or, I'm sorry, large enough to go on that. Um, we have string height on here on two different scales. And then we also can measure 30 seconds, millimeters. Okay, when I said Phillips, I wasn't wrong. They indicate that this is a Phillips. I want to tell you something just from a lot of years of working on things with screws and bolts and nuts and all that. If a screw calls for example, a Phillips three, do not use a Phillips two, do not use a Phillips one, get the right screwdriver. If it calls for, and, and this is something to, to actually watch out for, um, you will have uh, Phillips screwdrivers that use a Japanese size rather than an American P1, P2, P3, etc. Use the correct size because you don't hog up your fasteners, which means you don't have to order new fasteners. You don't have to replace those fasteners. You're able to accurately get them out under the appropriate torque. In other words, there is an appropriate tool for a job. For example, I could take these little pliers right here and I could probably do, I don't know, an ingrown toenail removal and a, um, uh, maybe I could tighten a faucet, um, no, not a faucet, a, a, a basin uh, nut, okay? If I got on it and it was real loose. Is that the right tool? No. Use the right tool for the job. But these are handy if you're in a pinch something like this. And if you listen to this, that's pretty substantial. I mean, this is every part of, I had a roller around here. What in the hell did I do with it? I probably threw it. Oh, there it is. I throw a lot of things. Um, this is a 16th of an inch thick. So, I mean, this is heavy duty. Okay. So our last, I, oh my gosh, this is a blast from the effing past. Okay, so this is a Herco guitar humidifier. I have a Martin GPAC4 shaded USA electronic. 
I wanted a Martin guitar because I'm from Pennsylvania. And um, when I bought the guitar, it's all real wood. So there's no laminate. There's no uh, composite to it. And you have to take care of them a little bit differently. And when I did that, the music store, they actually sold me these, a handful of these, and then one that I put in the sound hole. And I've had this guitar for the better part of a decade without any cracks, damage, uh, problems with the wood, bowing, warping, curving, uh, bowing inside, anything like that. But what you do with this is there's a clay in there. I think it's clay. I could be wrong. And you soak it in water. And uh, does this say five minutes? Yep, five minutes. It says open, immerse in water for five minutes, close, wipe off excess, and repeat twice monthly, store in the case. Okay, so what I do with mine, because I have um, also a drop-in one that goes in the sound hole of my guitar, and it uses distilled water. Now, distilled water is just, it's not boiled water, okay? So boiled water does kill germs, but distilled water is made differently than boiled water, okay? So what I do is when I distill my water for my internal sound hole one, I also use that same water for these Herco, as they're called. And I'm actually, I'm real happy to have got another one of these. Um, it's a great product. It's a great way to just keep extra moisture in there. If you've been playing guitar for a while, acoustic guitar especially, Electric guitars are a little bit more resilient. Um, in my personal opinion, an electric guitar that has been played will be healthier than one that has been unplayed, even if they're in the same tuning. So you take two guitars, you put one in, in E flat with tens on it, you put one in E flat with tens on it, and you play this one every single day, and you never ever play this one. I'm willing to bet you when you go to the one that's never played, you have to routinely clean the frets, clean the materials, get uh, rust and um, other uh, gung fungaroo uh, off of the guitar that you normally wouldn't have on a guitar you played. Now, on a guitar you played, you get a clean dirt off of it, but that, that's a small price to pay. But anyway, real glad to see this. Okay, so we got two packs of strings. We got the humidifier. We got the heavy duty. String, uh, string gauge, we have the XLR8, and we have the tuner, and let's see if we have enough charge, and they give you a cord with it. Let's see if we have enough charge to tune my guitar here. Okay, it's telling me that we have a low battery, but we're going to try it anyway because we're, uh, we're out of control. Okay, we get a light. Okay, this should tell me that uh, this is a G. We're a little flat. Right on the money, so be a C will be next. A little sharp. Our F, we're a touch flat. Now we're a touch sharp. Our A, we're flat. I broke one of the tuners on this Paul Reed Smith, so don't be too upset with me. Uh, the ratio is different. So most of them are a 14 to one, the one's a 12 to one. So you sometimes gotta play with it. Uh, this is my most gig guitar. Okay, there we are. Okay, so see if I can get you to see this display here. This is actually pretty good. That's actually a, a real good product there. I like that. I might throw that in the case and we'll use that for, okay, oh, what's it telling me? So, okay, G, I'm sorry, C, G, B, U, V. Um, we'll look at the book here real quickly because I know this video is getting too long and your boss is probably looking for you at work. Okay. Press the button for continuously to select, okay, uh, chromatic, guitar, bass, ukulele, violin, Okay, so that's what all those are. All right, when you change a pitch, blah, 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 charge it up. Okay, I'm just going to go on 
and say that it may not be as accurate as a Peterson, um, the $200 clip on. I don't even know what the hell one of these costs, but this may be the best just clip on tuner that you can buy. Uh, it can tune multiple instruments and it can recharge USB. So you're not stuck at a point where you're at a gig and you're using one of these. Um, I don't use these live. I use a, a pedal tuner and my wireless system doubles as a tuner, but th this is pretty good. All right, there you have it. Clip on tuner. That's excellent. USB rechargeable. I won't even try and pronounce the name Dodario. XLR8 cleaner, Herco humidifier. Listen to this one more time. String gauge into strings. That's Guitar Crate, January 2021. We will see you next month. Goodbye.